Tammy Porter, also known as Tamberamba here, sharing day six of Art by Marlene's advent calendar. So I've created this cute little sort of Christmassy scene. So let's just get straight into it. Sorry about the wobbles there, but I've got my album that I made for advent. Of course, I've got the um, advent calendar with all the stencils. I'm going to use some of Marlene's watercolors and of course I've got a watercolour paintbrush, I've got some of the craft tape and then I've got a couple of stamp sets. So I think this one's called Stamp It. Yep. And then I've also got Magic Potion, which is both from her latest, her last release. And then I've got both the collage papers from the last release as well. So there's colourful days and black and white moments. I also use the sticky glue as I do in most of my projects and I've also grabbed a few acrylic paint colours so I've got Happy which is yellow, Ballet which is pink and Pitch which is black. Okay so let's get straight into it. So this is my album here that I've been creating. We'll do a quick flip. So this is day one. I had to do a title page and I love that one. Then day two um, is the floral stencil. Day three was some script. This is day four and I used the stencil from day two as well as the number stencil. And then this is day four. I'm not sure where I'm up to. <laughs> anyway, it must be day five, um, which was a bit of fun with those stripey sort of um, stencils. So let's now check out day six. Um, oh gosh, I love the envelopes. I'm going to have to do something funky with those. And today it is an alpha um, stencil. So while I think about what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tape down my, using the craft tape, I've actually pulled the signature out and just pulled out a, the couple of pages I'm working on. I want to do a double page. So some pages I'm doing single and some pages I'm doing double, just depends what I feel like. So I've taped it down just so it doesn't move. And then I'm grabbing out the black and white moments collage paper and I'm cutting out a few of those cute little scenes and the little houses. So I've got an idea to um, create a sort of Christmassy village. So I'm just going to leave them in black and white. So I'm cutting out a few more bits and pieces here and there. And what I plan to do is pop down um, some Christmas trees in the background, which I'm just going to cut triangles really simple out of the colourful collage papers. So I've got a little bit of um, some houses going on and there's some that I decide not to use and then I just add, a, add another one. So that's kind of at the front and I'm happy with that. So now I will grab the colourful um, pages and I'm just using the scraps. So when I've created projects and I've got little leftover bits, I'm just simply, I'm, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm, you know, they're going to be on mass. It's not going to be obvious if they're not perfect triangles. Um, so I'm just cutting sort of triangular shapes out of all different pieces of paper. And then I'm tucking them in behind to create a little wonderland scene. So a few more, adding a few bits and pieces. So how much fun is the advent? Oh, I hope most of you have treated yourself and got it for yourself for December. I just love it. I have loved it every year. Um, December can get a little stressful. So I think it's really nice to have a priority of creating something in 15, 20 minutes, sometimes an hour, whatever you've got. But it helps me to find that actual time um, in December. So otherwise, I probably wouldn't do much creating at all in December. So yeah, I think this is the best yet. Yeah, when I saw it was stencils, I was like, yes. So it's very art journaly and lends itself to quite a bit of, um, you know, paint and stuff. So lots of colour. So all I'm doing here is I'm leaving a little bit of white space for where I'm going to put my houses and my trees. And I'm just coming in with some watercolour of Marlene. So I'm using some blues, a little bit of purples for the sky and some couple of different greens for the green grass then I add some splatters with the blue um, and then I am just drying off that because I want to add um, some of my collage papers so I need them to be dry so I can stick them down 
So again, I'm just working out where they're going to go and trying to sort of mix up the colours a little bit. Once I've laid this down to how I'm, I'm happy with it, um, I decide that grass needs a bit more depth. So sort of a little bit of um, shadowing as well. So I'm just adding some blues, deeper blues, sort of around the trees just to give a bit more um, of depth to the page. So now I just stick them all on. So just a bit of the sticky glue. Um, you really don't need much. Sorry, I'm not very good at doing things on camera. <laughs> and this is becoming late afternoon when I'm doing this video. So I think some cloud covers come over. So sorry about the, it's a bit grey blue in the background. Um, yeah, so just sticking all the trees down. And of course, they don't need to be perfect along the bottom because... Um, I'm going to stick the houses over the top of that. Oops, that one was wonky, so I just fixed that up. And there we have a cute little scene. So now I think, okay, it's time to use the stencil. So I'll grab this little um, stamp from the magic potion which is magic is all around and I decide what I'll do is I'll create the magic in larger um, so I'm going to create magic with a stencil so I've just got out um, some of the the little foamy sponges and then uh, some black paint so some pitch and I'm just I did it in reverse so I knew it would fit in where I wanted it because otherwise I'd run out for leaving the last letter off so I've started with C and worked backwards to create magic. And then I'm going to use the stamp to just stamp is all around. So I apply black ink to it and then I actually cover up the magic um, and just, yeah, pop it on my page. So there are around the little is all around. There's some cute little stars and sort of fireworky sort of shape so I'm just adding them just by popping ink on that little section so I have actually taken it off of the stamping block to do that and I just add that in and then I also grab the gorgeous little festoon lights that I think well they'll work in the background and I'm just popping them on I'm some I'm matching up properly but I'm not too bothered if it's not perfect so I've just stamped that on and then I just come in with a pen and I'm going to outline everything so I'm adding a little bit of grass around the bottom of the buildings and then I will also outline the trees as well um, so I, I just go around the edges of them and I do add a star to the top of most of them as well so just a little bit of pen work and doodling just to help them stand out a little bit. So now I get the stencil from, I think this is day five. Um, yeah, day five. And I just watercolour in a little bit of the stripes. I think it looks a little bit like grass and it just adds a bit of definition. So using watercolour, it doesn't come out perfectly, but that's the look I wanted. So I decide I still need a bit more depth and um, a bit of extra colour just kind of around the trees, um, just so there's a sort of like a bit of shadowing, I guess. So then it goes out gradually to the softer blue in the background. I'm just fluffing about and adding a bit more here and there and then just letting it blend out a little bit. You know me, I like a bit more colour than um, some washy looks. <laughs> so I had to fix that. Okay, now I'll grab a star from the stamp it, um, Stamps pack um, and these are the little cute little stars with polka dots in them and I'm peeking some some of them I'm using just a scrap piece of paper 
as a bit of a mask so that they're coming out from behind the trees and I just put a few around the page. So um, I think my background was still a bit wet and it didn't stamp super well and super clear so I'm just going over them with a black pen and outlining them a bit more. Um, and I do decide, I reckon it's here, that I decide to add in some flowers. So in the um, grass that I've just done with the pen work, I'm just grabbing the, the ballet and the happy and doing a few little dots, just dots straight from the tube to look like little flowers. So they're probably hard to see on the video camera, but hopefully in the close-ups that will come, you will be able to see those. I'm loving, loving the group and seeing all that you're creating and with the stencils. It's just amazing, isn't it, to see that everyone gets the same stencil and everyone does something quite different. So I love seeing the creativity in there. So keep it coming and use the hashtag ABM Advent 2023. So here you go. That's it from me today. I'll leave you with some close-ups of my little village. Super cute. And I really like the, the colourful trees with the black and white at the front okay so i'll leave that with you today i hope you have a wonderful december i will be back again with another share in a few days but in the meantime i'll keep sharing my daily creations so happy december and i'll see you again soon bye